Hey up everybody. Right then, I'm about to attempt another steam test on my loco. So if anybody's commented on the first steam test, I'm, I don't know about that yet because I'm just doing a, an introduction to the second steam test while loco's all in position just to tell you what I've been doing. So if 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 I get any comments and I've got time to uh, to talk about them, I will do, but if not, I'm going on with second steam test in advance, <coughs> if that makes sense. So, what I've been doing then, if you remember back on first test, my cylinders I think were nipping up, I think that was a problem. I had a couple of leaks on one on two of my pipes, I've sorted those out, they're rock solid now, there's no leaks there. So what I've done then, in the meantime, I've flooded my cylinders, uh, and all the associated parts with Active 8 it's a friction reducing compound so what I've done I've, I've poured it directly into the cylinders and I've also put it through my lubricator I've had the loco running God knows how many times I've had it running and uh, got that well worked into the system so what I'm going to do then I'm not going to do nothing to the cylinders I'm just going to do another, another steam test and we'll see what happens then and we'll take it from there because it's working fine on air so I've had it running like that for ages getting this activate uh, into the system and we'll see if that's had any effect on it and if not I'll just have to just keep either keep trying or I may have to tinker with cylinders I don't know so I'll not waffle on I'll uh, get loco outside and we'll uh, we'll do another steam test.
Hey up everybody. Well Activate, I think it's done the trick. My friend John swears by this Activate and in this is instance uh, I think it's done a, a good job. What I've done, I've, I've flooded the cylinders and all the moving parts, got it running on air and let, it, let this Activate circulate the system. Um, steamed it up as you've just seen and it, and it went uh, more or less straight away. So I've just, I've not blown it down, I've just let it all cool down from that second steam up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, run it another two or three times just to try and get everything bedded in. Put, get plenty of oil around it, maybe put some more of this on. And then it's ready for its second steam test and second, uh, not second steam test, second pressure test and then it's steam test. And then the safety valves want will be set by the inspector. Can't do any of that yet though because the Covid restrictions are still um, they still we're still closed down as, as, as regards uh, boiler inspections. Uh, just a couple of problems, well not problems, issues which I, which I had on that second steam test. I don't know if you noticed when I were pumping water and with a hand pump every now and again it was the ball was oscillating on the seed so I think it wants that distance between the ball and its um, stop reducing to stop it oscillating and the blow down the gauge glass blow down valve I've put a different style knob on that to the others and I think it wants changing it's a bit it's a bit difficult to use that so I may change that and then other than that I think everything's gone fine. Uh, I can't think of any other issues. So, I'll do another few work steam tests off camera, and when I take it for me, uh, me boiler inspection and my steam test, I'll do you an update then. So, if you press that subscribe button and that bell, I think you'll be you'll get notified when uh, when I'm doing my next update. And then after that, I'm going to make a tender for it. That's a little bit further down line yet. Not not quite ready for doing that. Maybe in another couple of months, perhaps I'll start. So again, if you subscribe and press me notification bell, you'll get notified when I make a start of that. So I just want to thank everybody again for watching uh, and staying and sticking with me through this long haul. And it has been a long haul, I know. And I've more or less video, well, 99% of everything I've done, really. So uh, thanks for all your comments and all them, all them people that's given me useful comments. And uh, I'll catch you on the next part of this project, probably. So I'm going to sign off for now, then. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now, then.